Efforts are underway to protect a creek in Springfield. Now, we've told you about Pearson Creek being in paired waters list right now for the state thanks to the bacteria in the water that it's been seen since 2006. A regular trolio is live by Pearson Creek just south of I-44 to tell us more about the monitoring that's going on there. Reagan, good morning. Well, Chad, group sample water every other week from this creek under this bridge right here in an effort to reduce the concentration of E. coli in this water. Now, cleaning up this creek is especially important, not just to get its name off of that imp impaired waters list that you mentioned, but also because this creek is another source of drinking water for the city of Springfield. And like I've told you in past stories, we need all the water we can get. We've been out here uh, collecting samples now for a while, uh, since 2017, uh, trying to address that problem. An E. coli problem. The bacteria has contaminated these waters since the 1970s. And environmental scientists like Mark Owens, his students, and Greene County workers have been sampling Pearson Creek for decades, trying to find the coli source. If we uh, gather enough information, um, and we can we can show that it's no longer impaired. And if that that's the case, then um, you know that's a, that's a that's gonna you know that's what we want for for our citizens, right? Green County Environmental Manager Tim Davis seems to think so. The water from Pearson Creek goes to James, the James River, and when the City Utilities pulls drinking water from the James River, they're getting water from Pearson Creek, no matter what. Um, so trying to make Pearson Creek as clean as possible uh, is really, really important. But it has a cost. Green County budgets $12,000 every year for the testing to be done. This is on top of all the other efforts county and city leaders have made over the years to clean this water. But Owen says it's been worth it. The average concentration has actually been going down since 2017, so we've seen an improvement in the E. coli concentration uh, in the water. And so um, that's encouraging, uh, at least uh, understanding that things have been improving over time. But this E. coli concern still stands. There's a health issue, obviously, with the, with, uh, you know, the, water, the water quality in terms of drinking water, but there's also recreation and tourism regionally that uh, that we care about. So, um, you know, there's an economic uh, impact as well. There's other reasons why Springfield is working to clean this creek up. Just getting removal from the list isn't the goal. The goal is to make the creek clean uh, so that it meets our community's needs. And our community has shown that drinking water is their highest priority. And that's the priority we want to meet for the citizens who are you know, paying the taxes. And groups like Owens will continue testing until that goal is accomplished. And Green County leaders say it could be quite a while before they can identify the source of E. coli in these waters. But once they do that and rid it of all this bacteria, Pearson Creek here can finally be taken off the impaired waters list. But for now, live in Springfield, I'm Regan DeTrolio, KY3 News. Uh, Regan, thank you so much.